Esty feels a certain way about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out here, you know? I'm, but it is what yeah. it is. Again, um, but yeah, so uh, Rapid City, I mean, like, as much as we like to joke and rag on them, I mean, there, there are some pretty solid players out there. You yeah, can't take everything from them. But, um, but out here, uh, this seems to be the more centralized area. I mean, it's also closer to a lot of tournaments as yep, well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like, what, like you guys could go down, like, it's like a two hours to Nebraska, Omaha? Uh, how far? Braden, how far is Omaha? So two and a half hours. And Omaha, again, Nebraska. Nebraska's like one of the most slept on regions so I, in Smash Bros. So, so yeah, Polar coming out with Lucas. I saw him practice that for quite a while yesterday and today. Dash attack coming out. Possibly first uh, incident of an intentional dash attack from Mega Man coming out here. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to know how many timeouts we're going to see <laughs> from Crows all weekend. Probably not in this matchup, I would say. Probably but, not this uh, matchup. Lucas does have a lot of options to still harass Mega Man. Yeah, for sure. Depending if he doesn't want to actually interact, so. But we'll definitely see how that all plays out. Um, a lot of up smashes out of shield here. You know, you're doing a lot of these rising areas, a lot of these high up on shield aerials. Mm -hmm. uh, Zach looking for it real hard. Good edge guard here. You know, trying to, you know, you, you shoot those pellets right at ledge height, and you're kind of oh, saying yeah. you can't double jump up here. Don't double jump up here. You have to go low. Exactly. And then you uh, throw the metal blade down to cover the low option, and you kind of force him to cover at an awkward side oh. angle. Big up smash coming out, though, here. Yeah, I think, so one of the issues here is the, um, is the fact that, like, Polar's, Polar's got a pretty solid Lucas, has uh, has a lot of good confirms, he's practiced them a lot, but the situation that I've noticed is that a lot of times when he's practicing or playing with somebody, he's not really playing against a character who can match his own zoning capabilities, like yeah. Mega Man can. You know, he's usually playing against, like, a bunch of brawlers and stuff like that, so this is definitely going to be an interesting yep. matchup Big check up for him. Big punish. Absolute ruthless. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I mean, Zach definitely the kind of guy who... You know, that up tilt has some invincibility on the startup and all that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, awkward angle. Right he now. took a saw blade with him, though, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we'll see if he's able to turn this around. I mean, again, like, Crows is still, like, I think, uh, it, like, in terms of SD and, like, really trying to figure out, like, hey, can you run with anybody here? Crows is, like, a really big, like, yeah, can you sure. run with the top dogs? Because, like, he's so impressive. Again, we were talking about Mega Man earlier with, with how much they have at their disposal, and then, like, he is, like, he gets so much of it, like, down, like, so perfectly, so cleanly. So, I mean, just Polar trying to figure that out, that's a task on its own. Yeah, neutral, very awkward in this matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, Lucas and Ness kind of reliant on some of those zoning matchups to, you know, absorb projectiles and stuff like that. You can absorb pellets, but I think, but uh, it, it's, like, not worth it. I mean, you're just wasting time. You get, like, 1%. And, you know, if you're on the startup of the uh, absorb, you know, you're just going to get hit before it comes out, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, true. All right. Ooh. Tried to land with that back air. That back air really solid. Really quick, too, for Mega Man. Yep, very fast. Ah. So I think what Polo's going to be looking here is potentially, yeah, he's looking for that forward tilt. Yeah. That forward tilt actually really strong at certain percentages. And the down smash, not going to be able to get it. Definitely throwing that out a little bit early, trying to panic. Uh, just trying to get the no, stock no, no, no. out of the way. All right, off stage. Check him out. There come out. Got to find a way to sit, uh, close off the stock here. Uh, that's oh. not going to be it. Oh, uh, yeah. Pilot just keeping him in place there for the fair confirm. Yeah. Very clean from Zach coming out here. I mean, you know, he won a lot of exchanges, but it, it felt like a lot of isolated incidents not leading to much. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, you, you got to at some point start stringing some stuff together. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's unfortunate, but again, like, Trying to find your way around Zach and what he does with Mega Man is that, that's again that's that's a task all on its own. Um, I mean, we'll see if he's able to get something going here in this game too. But again, this is tough. Like I've I've already referred to this pool as the Murder Polar Pool because like yeah. it's Zach, LC, and, and Gavin. So like yeah. it's like so even when you're not dealing with a zoner, you're dealing with a zoner who has huge hitboxes. Like yeah. so, yeah, it's it's definitely a. Uh, it's something interesting. We'll see how Polar just kind of finds his way through it. But again, he's got to get something going here. At least getting a stock would, you know, would be a feel good moment here. Yeah, for sure. Definitely want not to, to pull up Zare there. Yeah, Zare's kind of Zare's kind of dumb sometimes. All right, there we go. Getting All something right, going. Yeah. Okay. Miss attack here. Get him under the floor here. I wasn't sure exactly. Okay, yep. I wasn't sure how I felt before. about. Uh, Going to Kalos with uh with Crows yeah, just kinda, because kind of weird, but because like I, mean, uh, <laughs> I took uh, Crows here uh in a what is it, just a first to five one time just I want to see how bad it is. Granted, I was playing in Cinderor, oh, so that's a mistake. Yeah, and yeah, he timed me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I just feel like Mega Man's got like a lot of options. No way. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty tough. I mean, you know, the, the ledges here are pretty nice for recovering for Lucas, I'm sure, but it's also super easy to line up those uh, down airs, kind of send them straight down there. So. Right. I mean, he definitely... Oh, big double up here. So much percentage. That's upsetting, dude. He started off so hot yeah, in that, that first stock, too. Tries to up in between. Doesn't quite get it. All right, there we go. Gets that Nair going. A really active Nair. Gets a lot of damage. Ooh. Yeah, he's catching a little bit, but he's just coming out. It sucks because Polar... I, oh, no, he's not. Okay, he's not dying. But he started off so hot in that first stock, and then Crows just happened to find the stock back and has just been putting down damage ever since. Like, it's been a really tough... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not out. A little bit of extra time going low there for the crash bomb. Yeah, oh big man, smash. this is rough. Kind of awkward pacing. Well, if uh, we get about 20 more percent, um, yeah. 30 more percent, that's more percentage than he put down last game. So that's fine. Yep. <laughs> a free spot for Hey, okay, there we go. Takes the stock. So hey, you know, at least getting a stock, um, definitely you know, getting on the board here, it's a little bit, a little bit of a feel good. But I mean, like when you're already down a game in this set, yeah. it's a best best of three situation, feels, feels pretty bad. and you're on your final stock here, it, that is kind of tough. Yeah, but for sure. it's good, it's good learning experience if anything. Yep, for sure. Devil up there coming out. Good bait on the forward air lift. Good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Him back off. His disadvantage has been a bit of a problem, though. Yeah, because uh, I, mean, I feel like and like part of that's just Lucas, but right. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> Mega Man's like the world's greatest can opener. Once he opens it, he just gets whatever he wants. Yeah. I mean, he probably got a can yeah, over, uh, can opener thing out of his, you know, his club or whatever at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, okay. Gets a, gets a spot dodge with down uh, Oh, not quite though. Oh, God. oh, that's unfortunate. Really looked like it should have uh, one friend it, but. You know. Probably not that active. Adodge catches the metal blade. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's, you can do that. that's twice we saw that. We saw that on the first stock yep. on the other side of the stage, and the second time came down with the pellet, down air, closed them all out. You know, Honestly, him to recover up the side there. And yeah. I mean, easy lines it up. Yeah. Honestly, just just a really strong set in general from um from Crows. I mean, <laughs> some real commentator bias. Why? Oh, <laughs> I was say, what are you talking about? I, I like LC, but not that much. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna need you to keep you. I'm gonna need, out I'm need you to keep it in check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Joe. Yeah, big fan of Austin No Joe. Uh, very good anime. Anybody know what the Phineas and Ferb sister is? Yeah. <laughs> it's not Wendy, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was expecting him to say it. Like I was, I was like, everybody knows this joke now. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough.